What is up guys? So I got a question. Matt, can you compare the Galaxy S10e to the S20 FE? So this is a very interesting comparison because to me, honestly, um, you know, I would just keep my S10e, but there are some benefits to getting the S20 FE, but there are a few cons um, as well. So it's sort of like an upgrade and a downgrade in a way. Uh, so let's start off with the price point. In the used refurbished marketplace, you guys know that's how I buy majority of my phones. Uh, this is going to be 400 bucks, and then you can find an S10e for 200 bucks. So that's a pretty big price margin uh, right there, a $200 difference. Uh, so hardware-wise, uh, we do have a full premium design on the S10e. Uh, here it is, a full glass and metal uh, design here. And on the S20, we do have a metal railings on here, but a plastic uh, back on here so it's not quite premium they both are IP68 dust and water resistant as well so getting into you know just the size factor here as we can see you can see the S10e that's one of the biggest selling points with this phone these days is that it's just much smaller than your average phone now the S20 FE is sort of like an average size at 6.4 inches so it's not a super massive phone like we would see at 6.8 inches um, but just to go over the hardware power button volume rocker we got our power button and fingerprint scanner, which we will talk about on the S10e. Here's a central difference. Headphone jack, no headphone jack on the S20 FE. Both have stereo speakers, which we will get into as well. And then we have your buttons on the S10e over here. Um, the S20 FE lacks a Bixby button. I just noticed that. I don't. I never use a Bixby button, but I just noticed it doesn't have it. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about the displays here. So. On the S20 FE, we do have a 6.5 inch Super AMOLED display, 120 hertz HDR10+, 1080p 407 for the PPI. Uh, it is 120 hertz, so that means it's just going to be silky, buttery, smooth, and that's something that the S10e lacks. Now, the good thing about the S10e is it's a smaller display at 5.8 inches for people who want a more compact device. It is also 1080p 438 for the PPI Dynamic AMOLED HDR10+. Plus. So they both actually look identical. I think the uh, S10e kind of has a more colorful look to it, I can see. Um, but the S20 FE does have a smaller punch hole. If you guys see that, that punch hole size there, you can see it's slightly smaller than the S10e as well, which is something that I really like there. But just two beautiful displays. But again, when it comes to you know how fast these phones feel, uh, yes, the S20 FE is going to feel buttery smooth when you're in your applications or you're just you know scrolling, doing whatever. Uh, it is going to feel just super buttery smooth. So I do really like that. I think that is a significant upgrade, especially if you've never used a high refresh rate display before. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about these specs a little bit. S10e, Android 11, Snapdragon 855, Adreno 640 on here, SD card support, 128 gigs of internal storage and 6 gigs of RAM. S20 FE, also Android 11, Snapdragon 865, Adreno 650, micro SD support, 128 gigs of internal storage and 6 gigs of RAM on this one as well. So as far as the speed difference, like I said, I don't think there is a significant speed difference. Yes, the S20 FE is going to beat it in benchmarks, but when you're launching apps, bouncing in and out of applications, even gaming, uh, you're just not going to see that big of a difference. So yeah, it'll get into applications a little bit faster. Um, but you know, as far as gaming and you know, just overall just being smooth, uh, like I said, there's no a real difference here. It looked like the S10e actually loaded that video up. But again, that 120 hertz kicking in on YouTube, buttery smooth, guys. It does make a difference. So really not too bad here. Yeah, so as you can see, just it's not really um, that big of a difference here and also like I said we're gonna launch PUBG you're gonna see basically the same graphics and we had a little random crash there alright so we're in PUBG here and just to check out the graphics you know pretty much the same graphics on here as you can see all the way through you have the option to go up to Ultra HD on both of these. And they do a great job with 
uh, gaming. Now, I will say, if you're trying to game, the S20 FE does have a bigger battery, which we will talk about. So you're just going to get overall better battery life on the S20 FE. Uh, you can get around 6 hours and 30 minutes as opposed to like the 4 hours and 30 minutes on the S10e there. Uh, but as far as, you know, performance, both super buttery smooth in terms of gaming. You're really not going to see much of a difference. And I really like gaming on the S10e just because of the smaller display, uh, which might be strange to some people, but, you know, I really do like it. So they're both really great for uh, gaming. Now let's talk about your additional features and getting into the phone. So you actually have pretty much the same additional features, but the S10e does have, again, the headphone jack, which is definitely a feature that a lot of people want. It has the physical fingerprint scanner on the side, which works really well. And if we go into our settings, everything is still on here. Your wireless power sharing mode is on here. It's actually on both of these devices, so uh, that is on there. And um, yeah. It's just an awesome feature to have just in case somebody needs some juice or whatever. And also, um, Samsung uh, desktop support is on here. So all of the bells and whistles is on here. NFC, secured folders. You're not really lacking anything on the S10e as far as feature-wise. And you get a headphone jack um, as well. Uh, with the S20 FE, uh, you have a slight difference here. So we get the under-display fingerprint sensor which works really fast. I really don't have any complaints with it. It's one of those tap ones, so it, it hasn't annoyed me you know, since I've been using this phone, uh, which is nice. And again, you have all of these same features. NFC wireless power sharing mode is on here. Samsung desktop support is even on here. Secure folders. Uh, all that good stuff is on here. So they're kind of matched as far as feature-wise, but the SME, I guess, technically will come out on top because of the headphone jack. So. Alright guys, let's go ahead and talk about the camera. So with the S10e, it's only a dual camera setup, a 12 megapixel standard and a 16 megapixel ultra wide. It shoots in 4K 60 and a 10 megapixel selfie that also shoots in 4K 60. I was really happy with the Galaxy S10e's photos. Uh, they do have that sort of like Samsung kind of oversaturated thing to them, uh, which you actually got kind of fixed with the S20 FE. Um, but yeah, the, the photos still come out really well and that's nothing you can't do, you know, just edit the photos. But uh, the stock photos just come out well, um, very detailed, the ultra wide is pretty close to the main lens. Uh, it performs really, really well, so I really like the S10e's cameras, I actually don't think there's a problem with it. The selfie cam is pretty good, and overall I found video quality to be good. I will say that the S10e doesn't perform as well as the S20 FE in like low light situations and stuff like that. I do think uh, the S20 FE does do a little bit better job. Uh, but other than that, I really don't have any complaints as far as image quality goes. Now, with the S20 FE, it's a triple camera setup. So it's a 12 megapixel standard, an 8 megapixel telephoto, and then a 12 megapixel ultra wide. It shoots in 4K 60 on the front and back, and then you have a 32 megapixel selfie cam. Um, so basically, the S20 FE, I do think is a slightly better camera. I wouldn't say dramatically better, but definitely better at low light. And, you know, the steels are a little bit more color accurate. But other than that, um, you know, I think they both take great photos. Uh, S20 FE does a good job with detail. And again, you get that telephoto lens uh, with a 3x optical zoom, so you're able to do that. And you can't do it on the S10e. So there are like a, some small benefits uh, with the camera upgrade. But overall, yeah, I do think the S20 FE cameras is a little bit better uh, here. But, you know, other than that, just excellent cameras on both. Alright, both these phones have stereo speakers. Let's go ahead and check them out. See how they sound side by side. Max volume on both. Let me make sure Adobe Atmos is on. Um, all right.
kind of tough. They kind of sound exactly the same almost. I think the SNE sounds a little bit more crisper, but it's extremely hard to tell. They literally sound almost the same. Um, so I would say it was a tie with you know speaker quality here. They both sound excellent, excellent speakers. Thumpy bass on here. I can't really pinpoint. You know, one doesn't really sound significantly better than the other though. So again, I would say it was a tie in terms of speaker quality here. Uh, so let's go ahead and get into battery life. So again, this is kind of a big thing here. 3,100 milliamp, 15 watt charging, wireless charging, and then reverse wireless charging on the S10e. S20 FE, you do have a bigger 5,000 or 4,500 milliamp battery. Uh, sorry about that. And then 25 watt charging. So this charge is much faster than the S10e, which is something that I really like. I like phones that charge up uh, faster. Um, but you also have on here, again, wireless charging and reverse wireless charging. Um, so basically, um, your battery experience is going to be better on the S20 FE. In addition to that, you do have 5G on this phone as well. You do not have that. But the reason why I never really bring up 5G is because I've never been able to use it in my you know area down here. Um, but yeah, so you know the battery situation is going to be better on the S20 FE. So if you need a phone that's going to give you you know just more juice throughout the day, uh, this phone is definitely going to be. Uh, sufficient for that. So what do you guys think? Which phone would you guys go with? Be sure to let me know and I'll catch you guys in the next one.